In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to take you to a few garage sales, that is, until the rain hits, but then we'll make our way to the thrift store, because you know what? It never rains in the thrift store. So if you're ready for a brand new episode of Flea Market Rescue, then let's go ahead and dive in. Well, I was really excited to go garage sailing because I love going garage sailing. You just never know what you're going to find, and the prices are usually really good. I first came across this garage sale, which had a lot of great home decor. That and sign's only $3. The home sign's only 2 And the birch candle holders, those are two apiece too. So I was really excited to see what she had. Ooh, you look at these. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, $15. That's way more than what I want to pay. We are just going to put those back. This is kind of cute. For a minute there, I thought that looked like my mom's lemon tablecloth. Then I saw this awesome greenery. Oh, okay. Oh, I see it. Okay, perfect. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now, I wasn't even about to haggle with her because our price points were so different. Now, I was more in the $10 range because I know that I could go to Hobby Lobby when it's 50% off the greenery and literally get this for maybe $20. So I think 10 would be fair at a garage sale. She did have some nice greenery though. Then I came across this bowl with the moss balls. That was only $10, so you know I got that. She also had this potted plant, which was only $10 too, so I had to get it. I also ended up getting the Ann sign, the home sign, and the birch candle holders. And I was off on the hunt for another garage sale. The next garage sale that I went to had this really cool desk here. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. She's like, yeah, it's from Restoration Hardware. There was actually another part that went on top of this that had like metal kind of cubbies. Then she went on to tell me that they wanted $500 for it because they paid over a thousand. But you know what? I just do not want to spend that much on a desk. And it was a pretty small desk. One thing this told me was this lady had great taste. I couldn't wait to look at the rest of her stuff. I love this welcome to our pumpkin patch pillow. I think I'm gonna have to get it. And I even like this joy pillow too. All right, I know in my last video I said I probably would not get our nest, but I have to get this one. It's so cute and it's only $2. It's worth the gamble. Oh my gourd, I'm gonna have to get this. I think Jenny might be rubbing off on me. We have our grater. <laughs> it's so and great. Her and her dad jokes. Jenny will be back with us next week for a brand new Trash to Treasure where we'll be doing some gardening projects. Mm -hmm. Which is right up her alley. And we're going to introduce you to a new tool. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. It's called the X-Tool F1 and I cannot wait to show it to you. So make sure you tune in next week for a brand new Trash to Treasure which is garden themed inspired. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this. Oh, I need these candelabra pictures. Oh, wait a minute. That is the metal cubbies for the desk. I just wanted to show you guys that. But these pictures, they are amazing. I told you this lady has great taste. I'm definitely going to get them. She wants $10 a piece, and I have no problem paying that. Oh, I might have to get this metal envelope, too. Really loving that. During Christmas time, couldn't you see some pine stuffed in that? Maybe a letter to Santa in it. It would just be really cute. That wooden pumpkin and the bunny sign, that's really cute too. I think this has been my favorite garage sale so far. Little did I know it would be my last one for the day because as I was paying for the stuff, the rain just started to come down. She even put all my stuff in a bag so that it wouldn't get wet. That was just so nice of her. Now, as I headed home, the rain kind of stopped, so I decided, you know what? I'm going to check out a few other garage sales that I saw, but their doors were down. They did not open back up, so I ended up going home. I had to work on a few projects anyhow, but you know what? I wasn't home long because it doesn't rain at the thrift store, and I really needed to get some more stuff for the shop, and I thought, you know what? Let's try our luck. So I headed to the Salvation Army in Utica on the hunt for some good finds. 
Ooh, I'm loving this kitchen sign, you guys. It's only $3.99, and I think we need to get it. This arrow's kind of cool, but then I'm not sure if it's going to be a good seller, so I'm just going to pass on that. Oh wow, look at this metal tree skirt. My mom would love this. You know what, I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna give it to her. Yep, she's gonna love it. And it's only $5.99, you can't beat that. Oh, this would be perfect for Christmas. Now I, it's looking a little dull here, but it's more green, oh there we go, okay. See how pretty that is? I almost wanna keep it for myself. I just might do that. And this is only $5.99. Oh, this is so cute for Christmas. We're going to have to get this. Yep, I'm going to put it in the basket. Uh, this is a little bit much. Yeah, I'm going to pass on this one. Remember what I told you about stocking up on white and off-white candles? They're just classic, they go with everything, and you never know when you're going to need one. This one, however, has a little dent on there, so I'm going to have to pass on this one. This one might work, though. Let's just stand back and take a look at this, though. Yeah, maybe I'll get this one. Ooh, spooky. This would be great for Halloween. I think I'm going to get it. Now this is interesting, but is it a little too weird? I don't know. Oh my gosh, the Kodak camera, you guys. Do you remember those? I remember the ones with the flash bulb on top. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun to take pictures. We'd have to wait a few days for Rite Aid to develop them. I couldn't wait to open up the package though, just to see the photos. Yep, those were some good times. Oh, now this is really pretty and fall is right around the corner. Speaking of fall, we are going to have a spectacular fall event at the store on September 30th, 2023, which is a Saturday. We're going to have tons of fall decor, two tents, food and beverages, raffles, and a meet and greet. So if you didn't get a chance to come to the open house, here's your opportunity to share in the fun. We're also going to partner with Two Hens and a Chick, which I love their barn. They have such amazing stuff and at such great prices. So they will be open on that day as well. That whole weekend, you can go and visit them. And they're going to have a lot of great fall decor. And the best part is they're literally five minutes from my shop. So make sure to mark that in your calendars. I hope to see you. And I'll leave all the information in the description. So I think I'm going to get this wreath because I have to stock up on fall decor. Oh, this is so precious. We're going to have to get this because I love the little clips and you can put the photos. And at $3.99, that's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now this is really pretty and I would totally get this, but it's only one curtain panel. I mean, like, what are you going to do with just one curtain panel? I guess you could definitely make pillows with it, but at this point, I have a lot of projects going on, so I'm going to pass on this. Wow, this is really pretty too. I could see this behind like some natural wood, such as a natural wood nightstand, or you could even have an antique white nightstand and maybe have some natural wood candlesticks, maybe an antique white bird. It would be really cute. Remember what I told you about black and white throws? I sell a ton of them. Anytime I see them, I pick them up. And you should too. I'm gonna get this one. I got my eye on fall because before you know it, it will be here. I think this is super cute and I'm going to get it. Oh, the pumpkin patch. Oh wait, I'm seeing this corrugated metal. Let me see this first. Oh, I could use the Glow Forge and put one of my cutouts on here. I think I'm going to get this. 
Just a reminder, I have a lot of things in the Etsy store that you could use on your projects. And I make a variety of different things with the Glowforge from wood cutouts to stencils. Yep, there's a lot of things you can make with the Glowforge. If you're interested in getting your own Glowforge, you can save up to $500 and I'll leave the link in the description. So that was about it for that store and I headed to another one. This one is the Salvation Army in Rochester, Michigan. It's one of my favorite stores. And right away, I came across this hang tag. It's perfect for Christmas and you wanna grab stuff like this when you find it. You know, I've been selling a lot of magazine racks. I'm gonna to have to keep my eye out for some more. I probably should have gotten this one, but I didn't. Darn, and that bench next to it is pretty cute too. All right, I need to dig this out here. All right, if I can get this out without breaking a whole bunch of stuff. Finally, I can show you what I spotted here. Oh yeah, I definitely want this. I just need to wipe it up and it's gonna be as good as new. It's a keeper. Holy smokes, this metal star is like huge. It belongs like on a big barn. If I can get it out, I'll show you guys. For only $19.99, I think this is a steal. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous, but it's so heavy. Like, how would I even hang this? All right, that is gonna be one of those that I've gotta think about. Ooh, I'm loving this lantern. Okay, let's take this down. Whoa, $17.99, we're just gonna put this back on the shelf. It's cute, but there's not much money to be made on this one. Oh, I'm loving this one for $5.99. I think we're gonna have to get it. Wow, can you say Winter Wonderland? This is really pretty. I could see this on a mantle, but I don't know, is it over the top? Nah, it's gorgeous. Let's just put it in the basket. I have a lot of galvanized steel pails and I think these would be perfect in them. I love this, but I really think that you need the oil with this one, so I am going to pass on this. Now, I'm not really a gnome person. However, I thought if I could make this look like cement, it could be a really good seller. There's a lot of people who are into gnomes. And it's green tag day, so for $7.50, I'm willing to take the gamble. At first I thought this was cute and then I looked a little closer and ooh, it just kind of looks like bone to me. You know, like the inside of a bone. We're just gonna pass on this one. Oh, how precious. Oh my gosh, I want this. Oh my gosh, if I don't break his wing. Oh yeah, we're gonna get him. But I think what I'm gonna do is paint him to look like cement. I think he would look so much better like that. Oh my gosh, is that like a dove? This would be perfect for Christmas. Oh, and here's another array done piece. I'm going to get this too. This is kind of cute, but it's like very short. So I don't know. I might pass on this one. It's fall, y'all. Well, not really, but it's going to be. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks like my cheetah robe. Do you remember when I first started out and I would do my projects in my cheetah robe? That thing was so darn comfortable. I'd get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, work on my furniture. But then as my channel grew, I thought, okay, maybe I should be a little more professional and not be in my robe. Karma said the sweetest thing. She's like, but that's what people love about you. You're so relatable. That was such a nice compliment. And I hope you guys feel that way too.
because I'm just a normal person trying to share my ideas and projects with you. And I hope that I can give you some inspiration because you definitely can do all this as well. And hopefully you're having fun along the way. Mm-hmm. All right, getting back to the pillow. Did I buy it? No, I did not. Do I still wear my cheetah robe though? Heck yeah, I do. Now, remember when I said black and white throws, they sell. This one here, however, is fleece, and that one is not as desirable. It just doesn't have that expensive look, so I would try to stay away from the fleece. What a beautiful color. Not this. This is the one I'm talking about. This is really pretty. This would look great on a cottage bed. Can't you just see it folded down at the bottom of the bed, maybe having some coordinated pillows to go with it? Even a breakfast tray on top of it that has your favorite book and maybe a cup of tea? Sign me up. Well, maybe not for the tea. I really like coffee. Well, that's pretty much it for this store here, but I want to hit one more good thrift store. So I decided to head to Orchard Lake Salvation Army because that really is a good one and I haven't been there in a while. So while I'm there, I'm looking at this tin and I'm like, is this a pie tin? Is this a tin tray? What is this? No, this is even better than a tin tray. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I found this. In the basket you go. Oh, and there's another one underneath there. Oh my gosh. I love that these are a pair, and although they don't have a jar or anything like that to hang from them, I'm sure I can definitely find one. This is really a nice napkin holder, and it's only $3.99. Whenever I find these cow creamers, I always get them because people like them. Now I really like this, but is it too plasticky? I'm not quite sure. So I'll think about that one. Where my shop is, they're big horse people and they love their horses, but will they love a horse pillow? That is the million dollar question, isn't it? And at $6.99, I'm not sure I wanna take that gamble. Oh, this is so stinking cute. I have to get it for Christmas. Somebody's going to want it. Ooh, this is really ornate. You could glue like a bowl on it. It would look really awesome. Hmm, I like ornate pieces, but this one doesn't speak to me. Oh my gosh, what a cutie patootie. It looks like it has a chip though. Oh, but it is just too stinking cute. I love this face. It is right on point. It has the right look and you just know it when you see something like this. And today is green tag day. I'm always keeping my eye out for Christmas items too because you know Christmas is gonna be right around the corner too. And the closer you get to Christmas, there's going to be a lot of other people wanting Christmas items, so it's just harder to come by. At least the good pieces. So if you see it in July, grab it in July. That's one thing I learned from my mom. She said it might not be in season right now, but when the season comes, you will be ready. Now this particular piece isn't really speaking to me, but I am keeping my eye out as I'm looking through the thrift store. Now this lampshade is speaking to me. I love anything that has this texture and looks like tweed. Now this looks like something my grandmother would have in her house. She had amazing taste. All her stuff looks so high end. She had all the Danish furniture. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this. I love this chunky candlestick. It almost feels like it's cement. Today's been a pretty good shopping day, so maybe there was a reason for the rain. This is pretty cool. It has the right look. It has like some natural wood and metal. Hmm, I think I might have to get this. Oh, and look, there's one more here. Yeah, we have a matching pair. Well, this one has a little hot glue, but you know what? That's something that I can definitely fix. Well, this clock kind of just drew me in, but then I was like, well, it's blue. Will someone want it? 
you know, colors are kind of funny. You got to find the person that is going to want that color. I told you I like those ornate pieces, but this one is just kind of missing the mark for me, so I'm not going to get it. I guess because it's resin and they're trying to make it look like cement, but it really kind of doesn't look like cement. All right, I have gotten everything I wanted at the store. You know what? Wild Lake is only 20 minutes away, and that is my favorite store. It has the best stuff there. What do you say? Are you up for one more? All right, let's do it. All right, so I walk into Wild Lake, and this is the first thing I see. I have never seen a faux plant like this. This thing is amazing, and we're going to get it. Now, mind you, I had to walk past this to get to this plant. Someone was not having a good day. Oh my gosh, this kitchen is for display only. It sounds like my kitchen. I can't remember the last time I've cooked with the boys always at school or at work. My husband and I, we just get like carryouts. Yes, this sign is very fitting. You know how I love the wood aisle. I'm thinking Christmas geese. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, what does this say? Live the life you've always dreamed of. Be fearless in the face of adversity. Never stop learning. Use your imagination whenever possible. Recognize the beauty that surrounds you. Remember where you came from, but never lose sight of where you're going. Love it. This is a really rustic wooden box. It's really long. You could put some pumpkins in there. I like the sign. I like the wood and the black together. F for flea market rescue. Really love these letters. They spell lake, but they went in 1995. So I totally passed on these. I'm loving this farm to table sign. I think I'm going to get it. Oh my gosh, I have to have this clock. Oh, it's missing the top finial. It's still a nice clock though. I might even have something at home. Well, I did end up buying it and I also had a little bird at home that I topped it with and I'm keeping it for myself. Man, we're finding the letters today. Is this ever cool or what? Look at this, a Christmas tree with a bulb in it. You know where that's going? Straight in the basket. Oh yeah, is that ever cool? This is pretty. I would probably put this in a pot though, but I think we should get it. Wow, we! This thing is huge. I don't know if I like it or I don't like it. Uh, I think we're just gonna pass on it. Oh, these are cool. They're gonna make great bowl fillers for fall. Interesting, but no. I might have to get some of this because you know what? It would work really well with some of those clear bottles that you pick up. You could just put a little sprig in there, tie some jute around the neck of the bottle, and it'd just be really charming. Wow, these purple flowers are gorgeous.
I think it's official. I'm turning into my mom <laughs> between the greenery and the flowers. Oh, I'm loving these. Okay. That's pretty neat. Hmm. Wait a minute though. Let me look at this one. This one is actually a candle, you guys, and it's only $3.99. Oh wow, they want $15.95 for this. Why are the lanterns so expensive? If it was $12, I would have bought it, but not at $16. No, no, let's forget this one. Hey there. I must get this clock. Oh, look at the gem I just found. A bakery sign. Holy mackerel, $19.99. They can keep this gem. I love those ornate pieces. I must have this. True, very true. It's $8.99 and worth every penny. I definitely can make some money on this one. Do I need this bunny? Oh, not with a broken off arm though. Back you go. This is such a pretty birdhouse and it's only $6.99. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is very old, old needlepoint. I love the dog. Yep, I'm getting this too. Well, I think we got a lot of great stuff today. I hope you enjoyed going shopping with me. Don't forget that next week there's a brand new Trash to Treasure with Jenny where we're gonna be doing a whole garden theme. So don't forget to tune in. And also here are some important dates to remember. Next weekend on August 6, 2023, which is a Sunday between 10 and three, we will be vendors at the Packing Proving Grounds in the Chic and Unique Vintage Market. We're gonna have a lot of great stuff there. So I hope that you'll come and visit us. We are gonna be at booth 31. Also, just a reminder, we are going to be in Springfield, Ohio for the Antique Show and Flea Market, September 15th, 16th, and 17th. We'd like to meet up with you on the 16th, which is a Saturday at 2 o'clock at the Big Ice Cream Cone for a meet and greet. You can email me at fleamarketrescue.com if you need any hotel information. Hope to see you there. And lastly, don't forget about our spectacular fall event at our store, on September 30th, 2023. Again, we're gonna have tons of fall decor, two tents, food, beverages, raffles, and a meet and greet. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you wanna see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.